Welcome to the tenth and final part of my snuff tutorial for piano. We've come a long way and covered a lot of ground since starting these lessons, and now we're going to finish off with the ending to the song. First off, a quick recap of the last lesson. Here's the ending with the right hand slow. So the right hand starts on the offbeat. This part on its own can sound a bit weird or confusing, but it's just really that constant F sharp note being played repeatedly, so don't let it put you off. And this is over the top of a pretty basic bass line on the left hand, as shown here. The left hand is just ascending octaves to accompany what the right hand is doing. If you time each octave on the left with the beat of the song, and use that to help you time the faster right hand stuff, you should find that it helps you to stay on time and not fall off the beat. And you probably notice those large jumps you need to make in order to hit some of the chords here. Just remember that between jumps, the chords don't actually change, you're just jumping to higher or lower octaves, so you can keep the same hand shape, it's just a case of practicing the jumps enough so that you can almost feel your way over the chords without having to look and that takes some practice. Now watch how both hands fit together for the ending. Watching the video should help you to see where each hand relates to the other and how all the notes and chords work together. There's nothing rhythm wise that we haven't encountered already in the song, just maybe not in this combination. And apart from those chord jumps, this definitely isn't the most difficult part of the song. Have a look at this at a faster tempo before I talk about other stuff. The first thing I want to stress is to not follow the metronome at the very end. In fact, as I've said before, I believe this whole song shouldn't be metronome perfect anyway, especially as it's a piano version. 
music needs to ebb and flow with speed, not play along at a constant speed 100% of the time. Obviously when you're learning the song it's good to have a strong sense of time and be dead on the beat, but then when you're more comfortable with it I think it's important to mess around a little with the speed, slow it down a fraction in some parts to give it that lazy feel and then work back to normal tempo and that sort of thing. For example, in the very last measure here for the ending, I was playing along to the click in the background and you probably felt it sounded wrong like that, and you'd be right. You've got a lot of room to really slow it down here, like I did in my full cover of this song. This has the hidden benefit of giving you a bit longer to get your hands to those chords as well, although that's not the main reason of course, but it's just a good side effect. And while I'm on this subject, go back through the rest of the lessons and the song and try it both with and without a metronome. You'll be surprised at how good things can sound when you slow them down below the usual tempo. Just remember, I've only used the click for these lessons to show you where the notes fit in, but sometimes the click can kill your expression, especially with delicate piano music. Just experiment with this and you'll slowly get a feel for it and develop your own style. Before we round this off for good, I want to summarise some key tips, because there's been a lot of info to digest and it can all become confusing really quickly. These apply for any piece of music you're trying to learn on the piano. Number one, practice each hand separately if you're struggling with both hands at first. Number two, work slowly. If you rush off and don't get it correct, it will sound odd and this can kill your confidence. Number three, it's important to practice with a click as well as without one. You need the stability of a constant beat to keep you in time, but you also need the freedom to let the music live and breathe. Number four, persistence is the price of success. I'm not saying the song's easy, and I'm not suggesting you'll be able to pull it off tomorrow, or next week maybe, but when you first learn any new skill, this is pretty much always the case anyway. I guarantee I didn't pick this song up and just play through it easily, I had to work at it. And if you practice, you will get there. Number five, seek help when needed. You don't have to be alone when learning piano, or for most things in fact. There's so much help available on the net, in books, DVDs, you name it. Make use of it and you'll quickly pick up some good advice to help you on your way. Specifically with this song, drop me a message if you need help. I only have very limited knowledge of music, but I'll try to help out where I can. Number six, experiment and develop your own style. These lessons, or any others you learn from, are not the final say on how you should do things. Think of them just as a guide to help you on your way to becoming a skilled musician. Experiment during your learning to see what works best for you. Everyone's different, and what works for one person might not work for you. Remember that with music, there's unlimited opportunity to express yourself. So if you experiment with different ways to do things musically, you'll soon find methods of creating your own unique style and understanding what methods work best for you. Number seven. Have fun. Pretty obvious, but so important it does need mentioning. There's no point in any of this if you don't enjoy what you're doing. If a song's too difficult and you're struggling and therefore not enjoying it, simplify it so it's doable, for example. Then go back and make it more complex if you feel you want to. Your motivation won't last very long if you don't love what you're learning or playing. So just make sure you're having fun and achieving something in what you do. Finally, thanks a lot for watching. Leave me comments on the lesson you've got a question for and subscribe to keep track of my videos as I'm trying to keep my channel varied with a mix of different stuff that I enjoy and hopefully you will too. Bye for now.